Before installation, please be aware that the Airtherial AH20K Ozone Laundry System is intended for residential use only, not for commercial or industrial applications. Some notes before installation. Avoid vertical or angled mounting of the device. The device operates on 120V, 60Hz power and requires a minimum 15 amp circuit breaker. Use only the provided power adapter. Do not use extension cords. Ensure a water pressure range of 20 psi to 100 psi for proper device operation. Note that chlorine levels and water hardness in your tap water can impact the device's performance. If you have water quality concerns, consult a water filtration expert. Let's get started with the installation process. To install the Airthereal AH20K Ozone Laundry System, follow these steps. Position the AH20K on the wall above and behind your washing machine. The AH20K should be installed 18 to 20 inches above the washing machine for best results. Ensure the AH20K is within reach of a wall power outlet. Begin by mounting the provided bracket onto the wall. The bracket features three mounting holes. When securing the mounting bracket to the wall, ensure that the bracket is in a horizontal and level position. An uneven bracket may affect the product's operation and appearance. Use the three included wall anchors and screws from the box to securely attach the bracket to the wall. On the back side of the Airtherial AH20K, you will find three slots. Gently slide the AH20K downward, aligning the three slots with the corresponding tabs on the mounting bracket. The Airtherial AH20K Ozone Laundry System is now securely hung on the wall-mounted bracket. To turn off your cold water supply valve, it should be located near your washing machine. Disconnect the end of your existing water hose from the washer and connect it to the water inlet port of the ozone generator. Tighten the connection, but do not over-tighten. Leave the other end connected to your water supply. Attach one end of the included hose, two, to the water outlet port A of the ozone generator and the other end to the water inlet port of the washing machine. Use pliers to tighten both ends, but do not over-tighten. You can attach another hose to the water outlet port B if you wish, using ozone-treated water for other purposes like food cleaning. Slowly turn on the water supply and carefully check all connections, ensuring there are no leaks. Plug the power cable into the ozone generator and plug it into the power outlet. When connected, the ozone generator will power on with a beep sound and then enter standby mode. It will automatically work when the washing machine begins to wash. When water flow is active, the unit will start to work at high ozone mode by default and both indicators will display a blue light. Press the ozone level button to choose different levels of ozone. At low ozone level, the indicators will display a green light. Use cold water to save energy and reduce detergent usage by up to 75%, extending fabric life by removing residual chemicals and cleaning agents from clothes.